Good afternoon. Ross, Franklin County Forge. Um, we're gonna put some grease to the disc mine. We're gonna cut a little bit of hay. We are headed over to the neighbors, actually we're at the neighbors. We're gonna go ahead and cut this field here. I'm cutting this because we're limited on drying time. Uh, I would rather cut my hay because it's a little bit better hay. It's established orchard grass with some alfalfa. This is that new client of orchard grass. Some orchard grass here, but let's take a look at what else is out here. I planted this last fall in orchard grass, straight orchard grass. Didn't plant anything else out here. Uh, I'll I'm, I'll put a link to that up here, up here, over here, somewhere. It'll be right in here somewhere. Uh, but something else came up like it was planted. You got a really good stand of outside clover. You know what, if you don't know what outside clover is, it's a clover with uh, like a, a whitish bloom. It's not as white as like a Ladino clover bloom, but I guess there's tons of this out here. I mean, just tons of it. There's a good amount of orchard grass as well, but there's tons of this stuff out here. So the issue I have is I sell not exclusively, but mostly to horse people. Outside clover is virtually poison to horses. So that rules out my largest customer base. That's why I've made the decision to go ahead and cut this that and then once i get it cut i get some fertilizer on here get this grass going and probably end up spraying this outside clover i was trying not to spray any more than i had to on her property but if i can't get it to go away on its own which it should come back for a few years i can't be having that because it's worth something as cattle feed but to me it's worth for nothing compared to if it's horse food. so let's get her laying down and see how it is hopefully the ground's not too soft this is a fresh planting it's always softer on a new planted field we'll see orchard grass there is some of the clover in it not a whole lot uh, it's not real thick still not a whole lot of clover in here there is some obviously good stuff like this here it's crimping it pretty good but here's what it looks like standing there's enough orchard grass out here it's clear to see out here now where it's a lot thicker clover you can't hardly see the orchard grass there is still some there but uh this is it's pretty good hay it'll make really really good cow hay but you can see here how thick this clover is in here it's just lodged laying down like a mat but there is still orchard grass in there you see all the grass
getting a whole bunch of stuff cut because I don't want to get it all wet. That's that, guys. This is going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, this is Franklin County Forge. Uh, we're in southern Illinois. Try to make uh, quality hay. Although this one is a little bit lower quality. Anyways, besides, that's besides the point. Uh, anything forage related from cutting, raking, baling, tedding, hauling, stacking, uh, working on the equipment, square balers. If you like seeing square balers, uh, this is the place for you. That's pretty well all I do is square bale. And uh, to uh, building, building buildings to store the hay in. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you on the next one. God bless you. God bless America. Franklin County Forge out.